The bigger picture is all about getting art history into as many schools as possible and introducing as many students to the wonderful intricacy of the subject, no matter what their academic interests or backgrounds. Um, we launched the big picture a year and a half ago now and since then we've worked with about 35 schools uh, on a range of projects from talks to cross-curricular workshops to trips um, to galleries, day trips to galleries as well. Hello, my name is Vaughan Clark, I teach Art History at Eastern College. Um, I'm also responsible for uh, running one of our outreach programmes, working with a number of local secondary schools in the area. Um, one of our most recent projects has been to work with The Bigger Picture on developing art history skills and presentation skills with 16 to 17 year olds. We initially selected 20 pupils uh, across six schools um, who were all very enthusiastic about coming to Eton College to develop these presentation skills and their understanding of how to look at artworks. I think what we realised was we needed a course that had an end product and an end goal. But we were also aware that many of the students on the course probably wouldn't have done art history before. So one of the attractions is that we encourage them to think about how the course would um, develop their critical judgment skills and also to get them to think about how the course would develop their presentation skills. So first of all I'd like to ask, who before this process, before, any, before this course started, had heard of Peter Lanyon? <laughs> Who still hasn't heard of Peter Lang? <laughs> well, hopefully I'll change that today. So I signed up because it was advertised in our sixth form area and I've always loved art and been to art galleries and really been interested in it, but I've never really known what I'm looking at or how to deconstruct it and that's sort of a barrier you get when seeing art without any previous knowledge. So I thought this would help sort of break that barrier down and it sort of definitely has. We've been to a gallery or two since we started and it certainly gives you a new element to go in and seeing new stuff. I signed up for the art history course because art history was a topic that I'd never really had any experience with and then also the fact that it was advertised as a critical thinking and analysis course. I thought that would really help with the stuff I'm doing at school. I think on the course I've really learnt how to look uh, more closely at something and that really helps with things I'm looking at in English and sources in history. For many of the students at the start of the course they lack self-confidence in standing in front of a whole group of people and by the end many of them were able to give a clear 10 minute presentation that looked into the background context of each artwork, looked at the formal analysis of each artwork and probably more importantly they were able to express the personal journey that they'd gone on um, and how they'd gone from standing in front of a, an artwork or, or looking at a picture of an artwork and thinking how on earth am I going to talk about this um, to getting to the point where they were able to be very articulate about their emotional engagement um, and what the work actually meant to them uh, which, which was uh, really impressive to see. The Bigger Picture works very closely with an organisation called Art History Abroad who I have taught with for many years now um, Art History Board takes young people on mind-expanding, wonderful adventures through Italy, introducing them to the wonders of Western civilization, uh, teaching in small groups in a very cross-curricular and discursive, discussional and fun way. And it's this magic which we hope to sort of bottle and present uh, in schools. Um, we work very closely, and I have been working very closely over the past couple of years with Art History Abroad tutors, and the Presenting Art History course was taught almost exclusively by AHA tutors, all of whom were able to bring their own specialist interests and backgrounds to the sessions that they were teaching. Talking to the students at the end of the course, one of the things that they were um, very appreciative of was the quality of the tuition that the bigger picture gave. We obviously had teachers on site from Eton overseeing the project, but the bigger picture tutors have got a huge amount of experience in working with adolescents, uh, running courses abroad. They're all um, fantastic experts in their subject area. But what really impressed me was the, the warmth that they showed towards the students and their ability to tease out of the students um, sort of things that they were thinking intuitively but hadn't quite articulated. 
I hope that what we'll see in the future is more and more schools signing up to our talks and workshops and really getting the ball rolling with introducing more young people to this wonderful subject and allowing them to let it inform their work inside the classroom but also to enrich their lives outside the classroom as well. One, two, three. I really don't have it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.